Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be taking a look at another early Toxic Cup tournament. Uh, this trainer's team consists of Golbad, uh, uh, Babarel, uh, Gligar, Wormadam, uh, Toxicroat, and Steelix. His first round opponent has two Wormadam uh, cloak forms. Uh, so gonna go Wormadam into this Babarel, um, War Madame having a pretty decent, pretty neutral matchup, but able to confusion down after landing that Bug Buzz. And we're gonna see a Hippowdon come in. Hippowdon will be, would be very good against uh, this War Madame, uh, but these Bug Buzz do quite a bit of damage. Uh, so gonna go back into Toxicroat, and we're gonna see whether or not it wants to counter down, uh, whether it's gonna shield, probably just a body slam. It is just a body slam. And then gonna go for the Mud Bomb into the Wormadam trash form, and gonna go switch out into Steelix. And the Steelix is gonna be able to pretty handily uh, beat this Wormadam since it resists uh, all the charge moves and as well uh, resists the fast move. Um, the Dragon Tail is resisted by Wormadam's uh, Steel uh, typing, but. Steelix, Steelix is a monster, right? So like whenever you're in a pretty neutral matchup, uh, it's gonna be able to, to win out. I guess crunches are neutral, so are Earthquake. And uh, we are gonna see another crunch come through. Ooh, oh wow, okay, really nice switch. Aggressive switch by the opponent, but it might get countered down now, or nope, nope, never mind. Got deleted. It's actually a very good play by his opponent. Um, coming back with the, it would have been terrible situation if um, that Celix got KO'd. But Celix is a really tanky Pokemon, going to be able to tank uh, some of those Fire Fangs and be able to survive. Uh, but just barely, going to go into match number two, this Barbaro versus Wormadam. These Water Guns are doing quite a bit of damage, but this um, Wormadam, uh, if it lands a Bug Buzz, is going to do a lot of damage. And we're going to see the immediate switch out into Gligar and gonna go into the Night Slash. We'll see if this um, Wormadam decides to throw off a charge move. No, oh, got the boost. Oh yeah, that this is very bad. This is absolutely terrible uh, for for his opponent. Um, Toxic is gonna take super effective damage from those wing attacks. Uh, gonna take uh, resisted damage from the Night Slash. And then, uh, oh yeah, this is, uh, well these Fire Fangs are gonna add up. So there you go, and then we're gonna see it land. Oh no, not able to land one more. But you need to work shielding, but it doesn't really matter too much. It effectively did its job. And gonna go into uh, the barrel called LeBron for some. Oh nope, gonna go into uh, interesting. I guess um, hmm. I put it into maybe he's gonna build up. To the Shadow Ball and then switch out. I'm not sure. This matchup's pretty much in the bag, though. So, and these confusions are going to do quite a bit. I guess that makes sense. The confusions would do a lot of damage to uh, Golbat. So, yeah, that probably makes more sense. Um, though, like Shields Down could definitely got to the Shadow Ball regardless, as as we saw there. Anyways, so GG. Gonna go into. Game three, game three of round number one, I believe. Um, let me just double check. It is, you know, this is game two of round number two because I'm missing some matchups. Okay, um, this is his opponent's team. Uh, I'm assuming he got hit by a Hyper Fang. Gonna go into the Surf. Let's see if a shield comes up. No shield. Wow, okay. These, wow, just barely won, won the matchup. Must have been just two surfs that uh, connected. Wow, okay. Going to go into uh, Wormadam, I'm going to guess. Yeah, these confusions are going to be able to chunk away. Does have to be careful of this Shadow Ball. And we're going to see Steelix come in. Oh, yeah, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, this is bad. I don't know if uh, Golbat was necessarily better, but 
gonna be able to land this shadow ball. I don't know how you necessarily. I'm assuming. Hmm, I don't know how you how you win this matchup. So, um, let's see how his opponent decides to play it out. These shadow balls are gonna do quite a bit of damage. Um, hmm, gonna shield. And we're gonna see whether or not his opponent decides to shield. It would make sense to shield. And then here comes Golbat. Oh, let's see if this is a Shadow Ball or Poison Fang. If this is a Shadow Ball, this is, oh, ends up being a Poison Fang, which would have been resisted regardless um, by either Pokemon, but it's gonna be a double resisted by Wormadam. So nice catch. And then, oh, if it lands a Shadow Ball, this might be over. Oh, it is a Shadow Ball. Okay, all right. Um, let's see. Gonna look to land this Iron Head. And wants to land another Iron Head than a Shadow Ball, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I'm very skeptical on this matchup. Let's see if he can land a Shadow Ball. Probably gonna get crunched right now. It is. And then, unfortunately, not able to, uh, to win at that match. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna go into game number three of round number two. Uh, I'm, pro I'm assuming that he had won game one. Uh, gonna lead Toxic Crow. Oh wow, this Toxic Crow. Oh, oh, interesting. Interesting, I guess that makes sense. Um, let's see, the probably uses a Surf. No, Hyper Fang, nice job. Nice shield. And then gonna be in Surf range, or close to Surf range. I think he actually survives the Surf, no, okay. Just goes for the shield. And Sir, oh, Hyper Fang, nice, okay. Gonna go into Barbarrel, and then we're gonna see if a shield because sides come up. Does, let's see if the Lanoon comes back out. Might, oh, nah, these Shadow Claws do absolutely no damage to Barbarrel's uh, normal typing. And let's see, Toxic Girl. Uh, could be clever and come Mormadam. That would be a uh, pretty uh, pretty amazing. Uh, Thunder, Thunder, Steelix. Yeah, this is GG. Steelix has no play. Nice, nice pick. Was probably hesitant to bring Toxicroat in the next match because of the clay doll, but able to uh, do a lot of damage to the Steelix. Um, Crunch, gonna be able to KO or no? Not able to KO. Gonna put this Steelix super low. Even if this Steelix lands an Earthquake, not gonna be able to KO Wormadam. And expect, um, yeah, not gonna KO. And expect this uh, Bug Buzz to come through and KO. And we're gonna go into round number three uh match number one i have all three matches for this round okay gonna go toxic crow into um this hip out on these um crunch these uh counters are doing quite a bit of damage and we're gonna see if a shield decides to come up it does just a body slam but these fire okay well okay here comes wormadam Okay, gonna fire off the Mud Bomb, which is still pretty decent. And then gonna go into their own Wormadam, which makes sense considering that there's Hippowdon still. And um, gonna look to uh, build up some extra energy against this uh, opposing Wormadam before firing off. Just so it can get to a charge move before this Hippowdon, potentially before this Hippowdon farms it down. We're gonna see though. Oh, oh, I would just farm down, commit to the farm down, don't shield, gonna be super low, and then immediately fire off the bug buzz or iron head, depending on what you have. Probably a bug buzz, immediate fire off of the bug buzz, because you're basically gonna get fainted down by one fire fang, and this bug buzz probably would KO this hip out on. Nope, no, just barely able to survive, and they simultaneously KO, but unfortunately, his opponent has to pick first. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go into a barrel and look to. Oh, is it gonna counter down? Wow, okay. Nice play by his opponent. Yeah, yeah, this is not good. 
need to catch the I think it was too early need to catch the it's probably gonna get the mud oh it might just counter down now nice play nice play all right gonna go into uh, game number two of round number three I think this is against the highest uh, ranked opponent in the tournament or highest ranked trainer gonna get fire off uh, bug buzz is more energy efficient but iron head is a little bit cheaper and the difference is pretty minimal and then gonna go for his own iron head and we are gonna see oh it looks like he's winning the winning this race because he got the extra confusion in probably looks like that's the case uh, shield comes up no shield no shield gonna look to land another iron head let's see if this one decides to shield I'm guessing no shield and then potential farm down no you kind of just you're kind of pretty happy with this matchup uh, up a shield against Gligar maybe oh no uh, blue barrel makes sense too and here comes Toxicro, and then here comes the immediate switch out into Pout on. Um, gonna look to build up to that earthquake. Um, just short of it. Let's see if a shield decides to come up. No shield. Oh, gets the gets the boost. Okay, this is very bad for this Pout on. And let's see, no shield still. Wow. Okay. Um, I think you just double shield and farm down this Toxicro. To be honest, now that you're boosted. Um, yeah, I think you just farm it down. Okay, you're gonna fire off, fire off the night slash. That's the responsible thing to do. Let's see if this toxic decides to shield or not. It does decide to shield. Yeah, and then you just go straight for the farm down. Yeah, uh, there's not really much this toxic can do against these boosted two stage boosted uh, wing attacks and night slash. All right, now we're gonna go into game number three of round number three. This is a very good match so far. See the switch out into Bibarel. And it looks like it's going to stay in this matchup. Happy with this matchup. Uh, here comes the Hyper Fang. Does, okay, going to switch out into Golbat. And we're going to see a Surf come through. And we're going to see how many Poison Fangs it takes to KO this Bibarel. And likely gonna well probably not won't survive the next one i expect no shield from this golbat oh nice hyper fang expecting the no shield the um, this poison fang should ko uh this barbarrel which it does and we're gonna see probably the hapowdon come back in or is it gonna reveal the third pokemon okay gonna reveal the third pokemon um either is fine Gonna go into Gligar. Gonna be able to add up quite a bit of damage. Oh, gets the boost again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it switches out too. Okay. All right. Makes sense. Um, Sagan with the boost would have been nice too. Earth power, nice. No defense drop. And then gonna look to land this. Uh, oh, able, not able to connect. Uh, we're gonna see a bug buzz come through and ca straight up KO. And we're gonna see another night slash come through. I don't know if, I think I would've went for earthquake to be honest. Um, definitely would've got there, but able to get to the night slash anyways. To KO, uh, Earthquake is 65 energy, and these two Night Slashes would be 70. So definitely would have got there. And now we're going to go into the final round. Wormadam versus Drapion. Drapion's Ice Fangs are going to be resisted, but going to be able to. But these Confusions are also single resisted, uh, double be, double resisted because of the because of the Dark Typing, and then super effective because of the Poison, and then that nets to. Uh, to a uh, single resisted uh, confusion damage, but these bug buzzes are going to do a lot of damage, which ends up getting shielded. Um, we're going to see if a no shield decides. 
again, no gonna shield, wants to survive to get to this uh, Bug Buzz, which would KO the Drapion at this range. Oh, so opponent does not allow it to get through, and we're gonna see an Aqua Tail come through, probably no shield. Oh, Crunch, okay. And we're gonna come in Toxicroat, Toxicroat with energy, gonna be pretty dangerous. Oh, gonna go in, mm, interesting. Able to water gun down. Not what I was expecting, but that's quite all right. Here comes Skunk Tank. There's the Surf that connects. Looking to catch this Crunch. Uh, unfortunately, met by Claydol in the back. Claydol gonna be able to absolutely ruin this Toxicro. Um, but unfortunately, gonna get Surf beforehand. And then still has one shield. Uh, we're gonna see what charge move. Oh, goes for the flamethrower. Okay, that's probably a mistake. And that might end up costing his opponent the match. I'm not sure. Maybe they don't have. Um, well, even they have Sludge Bomb, it's cheaper than uh, than Flamethrower. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe a misclick. Does have CMP. Well, we'll see if the opponent decide to click the charge move. Yeah, does have CMP in this match, which is which is good news. And gonna get switched out into Claydol, and gonna be met by Wormadam Trash. Um, I guess this kind of makes sense. The Earth Power, or let's see what move it is. Oh, Psychic. Okay, maybe only has Earthquake. I was trying to bait there. Earthquake Psychic. Would that make sense? I don't know if any other variant would make that much sense. No Earth Power. Interesting. Another Psychic. Wow. Okay. And gonna get farm down. Immediate Bug Buzz into whatever comes in next. Ends up being Skunk Tank. Uh, again, Skunk Tank would take quite a bit of damage. Yeah, but it's going to be able to uh, kind of farm down. And then here comes an opposing Toxicro. And going to get KO'd. And expect the shield to come up and then a Mud Bomb to finish off. And I think that's all I have for these matches. So very impressive run. Really effective use of Toxicro, Wormadam, and Bobarel. Uh, showing off a little bit of that Glyscore boost. And then as well, uh, leveraging pretty much the whole team except for Golbat, really. Uh, but some really impressive play, especially in round number three on both sides. So uh, congratulations. I think I've covered this community's tournament a few times. So thank you for continuing to send me these videos. They've been really helpful for the community. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.